What I have here is a special modified version of PHP BB. It has been changed so that the login page is vulnerable to SQL injection. Now superficially the login page looks like it works normally, so if I type admin with no password, it doesn't let me in because that's not the right password. If I do admin with the right password, it logs me in normally. But because of the SQL injection vulnerability, it's actually possible to log in without knowing the password. Now we can look at the code to see what the problem is. First of all, we see that the username and the password are both taken from the, the web page form. And then we see it builds a SQL query that it calls SQL check password in these three lines. And it's building that query just from joining strings together. Um, dot is the PHP operator for joining two strings. The username is used exactly as it's passed in from the HTML form. So the query wraps it in the, the single quote marks because it's a string, but it doesn't do anything to check that the, the username hasn't got quote marks of its own or any other problem. Now the password we can't use for injection because the password gets turned into a MD5 hash rather than unaltered. Now the normal rule is when there are quote marks like this we can put a quote mark in our HTML form and that will somehow screw up the query allowing us to perform injection. So first of all let's just try sticking in a single quote mark. So if I say admin and then a quote mark. Now this is a, a big telltale sign and makes things very much easier for the attacker because this PHPBB is set up in this debug mode it's actually telling me this is the exact query that was sent to the database and that caused an error. And what we can see if we look carefully is at the end of the query there are two quote marks so our quote mark which we added which is ending the string and then the second quote mark which was there as part of the PHP page. That tells us a lot and if we put in a slightly different string then we can actually log in without knowing the password. So this is the empty string and it's, it, it will let, let me in as long as the empty string is equal to the empty string. Now the empty string is always equal to the empty string so if I click log in even though I have no password it will let me in. And there we go. We injected a little fragment of SQL and that was enough to, to bypass the password check. Now we can even take a look. We've set MySQL to log all the attempts made and this is actually our injected query. So it's testing where username is admin or where this is that and this is that. It means that this password check is never performed because this bit always turns out to be true. So we can always log in without knowing the password. And there we have a very basic example of SQL injection.